Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Charles Maring and today I want to talk about color grading in Final Cut Pro 10 for my Lumix lineup of cameras and some other cameras too, like this DJI Mavic Pro. And what do I do when it comes to making my color sing out of the cameras? But first, let's roll that intro. <laughs> So there's the right way to do things, the wrong way to do things, and then there's my way of doing things, which, you know, when you spend this much time using cameras, you tend to find things that work for you. And I have big projects that are commercial assignments that I have to do where I need to make quality top and at peak at all times. Other times I'm vlogging and I want to get my content shared and meet a deadline and get it out the door to share with you guys. And so either way, I do want beautiful footage. And I want to talk about grading today and what I do with my camera systems, with some of my favorite LUTs, favorite plugins, kind of get you there. So let's head over to the computer. So I spend about 75% of my time here at this computer editing, either in Lightroom, in Photoshop, or in Final Cut, depending on the project at hand. And I have pulled up some clips for you guys. Uh, to share uh, right here. And what we're going to do is talk about some of my favorite things in Final Cut and some of my favorite plugins. Now, my favorite plugin for color grading is Color Finale Pro. Now, I should say that in 10.4, uh, Apple came a long ways with their color grading tools. There's so much more here that we can do. I'll go into how I use these at a later date because sometimes I do use them. But more times than not, I prefer to use Color Finale Pro. Now, Color Finale Pro is a plugin. In fact, I brought up their website. Uh, Try.ColorGradingCentral.com is their website. Color Finale Pro is their plugin. And there's lots of information here. They talk about color grading. There's some training and things of that nature. Uh, and so I highly recommend you check this out. But it is my favorite plugin in Final Cut. And then there are also some LUTs that are my favorite LUTs. Uh, we'll share that as well. One of my favorite LUTs is created uh, by a guy named Andrew Reed. He runs EOS HD. It's a blog, eoshd.com. And you won't find this LUT when you first go to the site. But if you click and search, I already did it, so it should pop up. There it is. Pro Color for Panasonic. If you type that in search, in fact, I'll put the links down below too. Uh, and click enter. It comes up to this LUT that he created quite some time ago. It's $14.99 and it's for the GH4, GX85, and G85. But truth be told, works beautifully for the Lumix GH5S, Lumix GH5, G9, uh, ZS100, any camera from Lumix really, really sings. And what this allows me to do is to shoot just straight up in standard profile rather than having to go into log profile for a lot of what we do. Now, in his directions, he's going to tell you that you need to desaturate in camera. And that does work, I agree. That's the best way probably to do it. But for the jobs that I do, a lot of times, uh, I am shooting both stills and video on a lot of projects, so personally, uh, I like to have um, the ability just to grab any camera and shoot in standard profile straight up. So what he'll tell you to do is desaturate in camera. I don't do that. I just shoot it straight on. And I'll show you what I do in post here to make up that difference. So first, let's jump into a clip utilizing uh, Color Finale here. This is a DJI Mavic Pro clip. I'm going to just come over here. Once you install... Um, Color Finale into your computer as a plugin that shows up under the effects where it says Color Finale. We just drop it on the clip. It's really easy. Let me hit Z, kind of zoom in on this clip just a little bit, somewhere in the middle. And then I'm going to go over to the film strip up here, which brings up the inspector for this clip. And I'm going to click Color Finale is applied, but we haven't applied any LUTs yet. Click here, and then you go to the cubes, the LUT cubes, and I'm going to choose. These are a bunch of different ones that have come with it and then some as well. Um, but this is the EOS HD Pro Color Cube that we purchased. We click apply and that footage gets flattened out quite a bit. Now, secondarily, what I'll do though, 
with DJI Mavic Pro footage is I'll come up here and I'll click on the color wheels. I will desaturate just a little bit, just for my own personal taste. Maybe I'll bring down the highlights just a touch more. And then I'll hit on these curves and we'll adjust contrast by clicking in the highlight here and then clicking in the shadow area here and just kind of find that perfect contrast for the clip itself. And so as this clip plays, it's just a little bit prettier when I apply that LUT. And if I go up and show you, this is what it looks like before. It's nice, it's clean, color is right, but this just adds a little bit of cinematic quality uh, and allows it to sing just a little bit, be just a little bit prettier than it was before. So let's go into some other clips shot on Lumix cameras. Let me jump back into Final Cut Totally, and this is a clip in, our art, in my art studio. I'll just drop this in, get rid of the volume. We don't need to hear what I'm talking about here. And this is what it looks like straight up, standard profile, Lumix GH5. But again, I'm gonna take that Color Finale plug-in, drop it onto the clip, come up into the open controls, click on the cube. Again, I'm gonna apply the EOS HD Pro Color, and you see what it's gonna do? Flatten that footage out. It's going to be oversaturated because I did not desaturate in camera. Easy fix though, just go over to your color wheels, and drop that down to whatever level you think works for you. I typically am somewhere between 65 and 75% because I like my footage a little punchy. And now let's show you the before and after off of this. Before it was pretty, color was good, but not as flat, not as cinematic. Uh, but now when I show you before and after it will be flatter, just a little bit prettier. So I love working in just the straight up standard profile because I know that when I apply this LUT and desaturate a little bit, it's gonna be what I'm looking for. Is it as flat as a log profile? No, it's not, uh, but it is still beautiful nonetheless uh, and works really well for me. So especially for vlog footage, I will do that a lot. Now, if I'm working on a client project or I'm working in a really high contrast scene, a lot of times what I wanna do is work in log. So this is log footage shot on the Lumix GH5S. I'm gonna get rid of the audio there. And now I'm gonna use the same plugin, Color Finale Pro, but when I apply it, because this is shot in log, I'm going to use Cube, and I'm gonna change the LUT to the Alexa Log C709. And I don't think a lot of people realize, but the Lumix lineup of cameras when, that have log, GH5, GH5S, even Vericam, the Alexa Log C LUT is very, very close. And what this allows filmmakers to do is interweave Alexa footage, uh, Vericam footage, and Lumix footage, and it be very close in terms of a match. So a really great LUT, really simple, it's free, it's available. And then what I'll do is once I apply it, I can then use this little opacity slider and say, okay, how much of that LUT do I want applied? Full strength or tone it back a little bit. And then if I wanna punch it up with some saturation, I can just kind of boost. And if I wanna flatten that out even more, maybe I'll bring the slider down here and the highlight slider down just a tad. And of course you can add contrast over here or you can go into the curves as we mentioned earlier and then fine tune that to be exactly what it is that you're looking for. So that's pretty much how I am grading a lot of my footage. You know, I love working in standard profile because I shoot stills and video on so many of my projects and so many of my assignments that it just makes my life a lot easier. And that is a really good LUT and a great plug-in for Final Cut Pro X to make your life a little bit easier. So that is my wrap on kind of what I do here when it comes to grading my footage off of the Lumix cameras and then some. Uh, I just want to say quickly, uh, thank you to everybody who gives me support. Um, I want to mention that one of the ways you can support our site and our ability to share is to go to shopcharlie, C-H-A-R-L-E-E.com, shop, shopcharlie.com. Uh, I am an expressionist painter and I paint these huge expressionist paintings, photograph them, have it printed on fabrics or made into t-shirts, and art does make the perfect gift. 
but that directly impacts our ability to continue to share, continue to create here. And so I appreciate it for everyone who does take the time to do that. And with that said, that's a wrap on today's uh, color grading tutorial and what I do here at our studio. I appreciate you everybody. Have a great one.